So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is your very own mask code at the side, and today we will be solving our forty fifth POTD. Yes, this is a long journey, and it was not possible without your help and support, without your love. Okay. So today's problem is count digit groupings of a number. Okay. Let's see what does the problem say. So the problem says that suppose you have been given a number in the form of a string as one one two. You have to form all the substring distributions. What is a substring distribution? Something like this. So one of the substring distribution is one with one two. Another one is one with one with two. Another one is one one with two. Another one is the whole string one one. Okay. Now I have to count count number of valid distribution number of valid distributions now to find the number of valid distribution what is a valid distribution first of all a valid distribution for this question is if the right substring has sum of digits more than adjacent left substring all right okay so if we see this condition to the existing sub substring distributions so you see sum of digit in 1 2 is 3 and in 1 is 1 so 3 is greater than 1 so it is a valid distribution 1 1 2 valid distribution 2 2 valid distribution 1 1 2 valid distribution okay so Sorry for my example, it has not even given a wrong distribution. Suppose for example, a distribution is uh, 1, 1, 2, 1. Suppose this is one my distribution. So in this case, it is 4 here and 1 here, right? So in this case, it will not be a valid distribution. Okay, I think you've got the hang of the problem. What is the problem demanding? So in this case, you can see for 1, 2, 3, 4 are, uh, I'm getting 4 valid patterns. So answer would be 4. Okay, so this is my input. I'm, I'm getting a string. A number in form of a string in input and I have to return the number of valid substring distributions. Okay, so how are we going to solve it? So before approaching, at, uh, I would like to tell you that this is a dynamic programming question and a easier one. I will not say it is very tough. Okay, so as most of my talented students know that dynamic programming is recursion plus memoization okay that is smart recursion okay so we will be discussing the recursion first and then we, we, we will be adding the memoization which is fairly easy you just have to follow some uh, some not only two steps so uh, two set of rules okay so recursion how we're going to drive the recursion okay so uh, in the recursion i will be taking suppose my function's name is recur okay similar to recursion so i will be taking my index because i'm dealing with strings so index is uh, a, a permanent type of thing here i'm taking my index i'm taking my sum why sum i have to account i have to account what sum was previous string previous substring okay then only I can determine which is a valid substring right now. Okay, which is the valid uh, from where till where I have to go. Okay, suppose if my index is equals to equals to n, n is the length of the string here. If my index is at equals to equal to the length of the string, then what? Then what? So suppose what I am doing is, if uh, I have a uh, string as one, this is my input string. So I will start from zeroth index, correct? The zeroth index will move the pointer to one, okay, and it will uh, it is adding zero. So uh, let's do one thing. Let's complete this base case at last, okay. If index equals to equals to n, okay, we will be returning this base case, okay. For the rest of one, I am saying my answer will be zero right now, and my current value, current value of the substring is also zero, okay. Now my value will be moving from in the form of loop. Why loop? Suppose I have got one in my previous substring 
and here it is one two three okay so if i've got this and my index is currently here on on this one okay so the possible substring distributions i can i can form are either one or one two or one two three so you can see all three are possible for that i'm using the loop so my loop will move from end and go up till the length of the substring i plus plus as usual now to increment the curve what i will do is curve plus equals to my strings that value i minus zero okay minus zero because one minus zero is actually one zero minus zero is actually zero two minus zero is actually two okay i hope you are getting my point so curve of s my si minus zero is that value that will be in, uh, incremented in the curve now if my curve is actually greater than equals to my sum in that case my answer will be incremented with the help of recursion answer plus equals to now call the recursion from the current i and sum will be current okay okay and after that return your answer so let us draw the recursion subtree and then from that i will uh, drive you the expression for the base case so suppose uh, let's take a substring as one one two one okay for one one two one let us count so one one two one okay my current index is zero one two three it is starting from zero comma zero zero index zero sum right for zero index zero sum possible are I am going till 0 only, so 1 with 1 sum, 2 with 2 sum, 3 with 4 sum, or 4 with, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, all, the, all of them are included, so sum is 5, okay. For the base case, you don't need to go further down, you will realize it here, 4, 5, so I am taking the string 1, 1, 2, 1, is it a valid substring distribution, the only string this, yes. So it should be giving one in the return, right? Four comma five. So it is returning one. Okay. Now, if you see four is the value of the index and four is the length of the string. So what we are doing is in the terms of base case, when int is equals to equals to n, we are actually returning one. Okay. I hope it is very much clear to you. Okay. So let us continue. Now for one one. Okay. I'm currently standing here. Okay. For one two one. The possible substrings are it is going to index 2 current sum is equals to 1 going to index 3 with 3 sum and going to index 4 with 4 sum right so 1 1 plus 2 3 1 plus 2 plus 1 3 4 okay otherwise for 2 if it is standing at 2 possible are goes to 3 with 2 or goes to 4 with uh, 3 right for three only possible is take it but after taking it it becomes one only so not possible it will return zero okay now four comma three is returning one base case is three comma two again so for three comma two again three is standing here one not possible because one is actually smaller than two so it will return zero one plus zero will return one okay so i'm getting one from here zero from here one from here and i have to return this only so for that four comma four is reached return one here okay three comma three three is actually greater than one one is actually greater than equals to one so three for three again this is actually not returning anything because again one it will return zero two comma one so it is standing at two and wants a one so it has again two cases goes to three with two in hand or goes to four with uh 3 in hand so it will return 1 and 3 comma 2 as we have discussed here 3 comma 2 was returning 0 so it will return 0 again at 2 comma 1 1 plus 0 it will return 1 so 1 plus 1 1 from here 1 from here it is returning 2 so 0 comma 0 is getting actually 2 1 1 so it is 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 4 so answer for 1 1 2 1 is actually 4 okay this was the recursion but you can see as 3 comma 2 was coming for uh, 3 3 comma 2 is coming here again so there are many 
overlapping cases and whenever there is an overlap as discussed above we will be having the help of dynamic programming which is known as db so let us add a memoization for memoization i always tell see what is changing see what is changing in the recursion okay so as you can see two things are changing the answer was changing on basis of two things that was end and my sum so memoize it so without wasting any time let's come to the code uh, we memoize it there only so first let's write the recursion so my current length is str dot length and i will be returning the answer from the well solve function which is my recursion function i will be passing my index zero there my sum zero there my string there and my n there okay it is turning int so int solve int int that is index int sum that is my sum and sum of the previous substring okay so string and my string and my current length or oh, strings length if in equals to equals to n in that case it done one as discussed all right now my answer is equals to zero and my current is also equals to zero now for int i going from n i less than n i plus plus cur plus equals to str of n minus zero right if my cur is actually greater than equals to some in that case answer will be incremented by solve value of i with cur str and n will remain same only and uh, it is if here not i of sorry for my mistake okay and at last return answer this was my whole recursion code it is we are still to add uh, dp into it so please stay with me Meanwhile, you can subscribe to my channel. Okay, so you are seeing compiler is very fine. Let's try it for submit also. As you can see, there has been a TLE when I try to submit it, so we will have to add the memoization. So as discussed, memoization is to be added in the respect of index and sum. So let us make a vector of vector of int. Name it as dp. And, and index will be n plus 1 right and about the sum as you can see in the constraints constraints say that n is actually less than equals to 100 in the case of uh, less than equals to 100 in the case of less than equals to 100 where each uh, stri is 9 what can be maximum value 9 star n so let, let's take 9 star n plus 1 initialize all of them by minus 1 right so send dp send vector of vector of and vector of vector of int and dp right if my dp of index with that sum is not equals to minus one in that case return dp of in with that sum correct when i'm trying to solve then also send dp and when I'm uh, returning the answer, then also update my DP for the next steps. Okay, this is my whole memoization. Let's try to compile and run it. Hope I'm not committing any mistakes. And please, till then, please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription means a lot to me. Okay, so it will be small and here. Sorry for my mistake. Running fine. Let's try to submit. And I want you to keep banging the subscribe button and keep banging the like button. As you can see, we have completed a 45 day streak and this was all because of your love. And please keep watching. Till then, stay coding. We will meet tomorrow. Okay.